Well, hey everybody, Daniel Ramsey here with my Outdesk. I'm excited because today we get to interview Stephanie Masterson. Now, this is a crazy one because she's been a client. You guys have been a client since I think 2012. So you guys are going yeah. on like eight, nine. It's a, it's a nutty time, you know? So yeah. I'm excited about that. Stephanie, you're the president of the Reigns yes. Group. And uh, let's sorry. just start off. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. I'm super excited. Yeah. And so let's talk a little bit about your company and, and how you got, I, I know you've been there. I mean, you've been with, you know, Sandy. 20, 22 years. Only 22 years. <laughs> Only. You, yeah. You look like you're in your late I 20s. Know. What are you doing? I know it. I know it. Yeah. I started with Sandy basically right out of high school. So Really? Uh, I graduated. Yep. I graduated in, I guess it would have been June. Uh, I met Sandy in November and I uh, got my license that following year Yeah, and the rest was history. That's crazy. Well, as the president yeah. of the Reigns Group, it's number one company in central Ohio. So you guys are crushing it. Right. Several hundred transactions. You're listening to the top 100 nationwide. I mean, you guys are kind of yeah. like rocking and rolling. Like, let's just dump into like, what's your sure. job at the company? What do you do? How do you support the company and the agents and really the clients? So let's just, yeah. let's talk about that. Like, what's your role today? Uh -huh. Today, my role is overseeing the sales staff and um, supporting my director of operations for our operations staff and um, growing the company. That's a big endeavor that we have um, yeah. this year. Yeah. So that's been exciting. We're uh, ramping up for our team advance, which is our business planning that we take a day out of the office and uh, do some team building activities and all of the agents and operations team present their business plans for 2020. Yes. So um, that's coming up on November 6th and we're very excited about it. Okay. Uh, so making sure all that comes together and really helping and supporting their agents to grow the existing agents to grow their business and new agents um, to really get started, complete their onboarding and uh, get up and running as quickly as possible. That's amazing. That's amazing. What um, let's talk about. Um, first of all, we've got a ton of people here. So if you're here, uh, Stephanie is all about questions, right, Stephanie? So you can actually <laughs> yes. answer questions. Um, but I before can. we do that, just let us know where you're at in the world. Just go ahead and type in, I'm in Sacramento. Um, and it's like the beautiful California, 70 degrees outside right now. I'm in shorts. Uh, That's what's crazy about that. So just where are you at, Stephanie? You're lucky. I'm in New Albany, Ohio, which is just out of outside of Columbus. Nice. So we'll probably get up to maybe 60 today, uh -huh. um, but it's been a little chilly. Fall is definitely here. The leaves are changing and um, yeah, we're looking, I think we're looking forward to it. We had a hot summer, which we were grateful for Yeah. and I'm missing the pool already, but um, it's nice for it to cool down and um, hockey season and football season and all of that's in effect. And we have a really, really great city to be a part of. Um, sports and entertainment yeah yeah okay well thanks guys for putting in where you're at and what your city is stephanie's definitely going to answer some questions as we go down but real quick i want to know a little bit about how your team is structured because when you're ranked in the top 100 out of 1.2 million realtors there's a lot of meat on that bone we got to hear <laughs> like what's the secret sauce in the team and like what's your structure and how do you run it every day yeah. and Let's talk about that, that piece of it, okay? Okay. Um, well, we have uh, some two client service managers right now, and, and we're hoping to bring on a third one. So okay. their role is really to take the agent's um, business from new listing to the closing table and support them throughout the journey. So Got it. our goal, as because we're a team here, is to really support the agents and take all the dollar productive activity off of their plate yes. and or non-dollar productive activity off their plate and do it for them so they can be out doing what they do best. Okay. So our we're we're sales driven, but we have operational uh, excellence and um, a lot of trust that goes into that too, because as agents come on board, like they're nervous about asking someone else to do this right. work for them. Right. Um, but they, it doesn't take long for them to catch on and realize the benefit to having the help. 
So um, we had Stephanie, a marketing why manager. Did you, yep. Why did you bring that up first? Is that, is that a big differentiator for your team? It is. For us, it is. Yes, because that's a big expense for, say, a solo agent um, to have an assistant that is trained yep. and able to do do all of the things um, that we do. And so much as so is, you know, we have a virtual assistant with you that is awesome and helps um, our client service managers run their their day-to-day -day business. So whether that's data entry, um, you know, calendar invite, you, you name it, and she does it um, from the Philippines and we absolutely love her. So she's a big uh, support person for our client service managers so they can in return support the agent. And the um, idea there is you guys have leverage for your leverage. I mean, your yes. agents are out there driving revenue and your yep. internal team, it, they're supporting them by taking away their non-dollar productive stuff. And yes. our virtual assistants allow your physical people to take vacations and like get <laughs> that's it. right. Is that right? I mean, that's a big deal. That's true. It is. It's huge. I mean, we, we don't know what we would do without her and um, it would be a lot more work. Yeah. And um, we're, we're, we're grateful. Um, we're very grateful. So. So, that's, so that's sort of the setup of our operations team. We have a client service assistant that delivers our signs, our lock boxes, our brochures, you know, making sure that all of that is done for the agent. Everything's ready to go. Yep. Um, our agents take both listing, work with listings and buyers at the same yeah. time. Okay. Um, so I know that's a little bit unique as well. Um, Mm -hmm. And you, and a lot of times the rainmaker um, does all of the listings, which would be Sandy. Yeah. And Sandy's be gotten into more of a mentor role with the agent, so she is passing the business um, down to and partnering with our sales agents, so they can learn and train and and you know be mentored by by the best. Yeah. Um, so we have, I think we're up to 20, um, 20 sales agents on the team now. Wow. So it's. Uh, it's incredible. And we just had some new people join us to get up to that number. So we're excited to have them on board and um, take them through the onboarding process and um, see them selling homes sooner rather than later. Yeah. Yeah. So it's interesting uh, with 20 folks, like let's exclude the five new ones because we know yep. they're brand new, but with, yep. so with 15 agents, how productive are they on an annual basis? And, and, and what I love about your team is Sandy does really take a kind of mentorship role so yeah. all that business is in their name so let's talk exactly. about that what what does the production exactly. look like well when yeah when sandy and i started and it was just the two of us um yep. so back in i think when we really started tracking our numbers because there were a couple years where i i had no idea what i was doing i just started and uh, yeah. her husband would come in every day like did you guys sell a house today i'm like no no not today but we're working on it <laughs> Um, so in 2000, when we sort of started really tracking our numbers, um, the two of us did 11 million and worked with 22 families. So now in 2018, we did 153 million in sales volume and we helped 341 families. Bam. So that's the, yeah, the kind of business that we're doing, which is awesome. That's phenomenal. Why do you yeah. believe that that's, you know, you guys have been able to scale your business from 22 families to over 300. <laughs> like, it, let's break that down because that's the real yeah. and share it with the audience because this is the part that most people like w when I interview folks, I try to find the people who've actually done it and you guys have yeah. actually done it. So what what's what's your secret sauce there? I think that, um, you know, we have a, like I said, and I'll brag about them all day long, it, an incredible operations team that are a lot of C-type personalities. So yep. they're into the details. Um, you know, Ron and Sandy go to a lot of conferences and they bring back a lot of ideas and things we should implement. Yep. And then we get to take the time to figure out, okay, is this, does the cost of this make sense or is what the agents were selling really true? Because right. sometimes things get... Um, exaggerated a little bit. Yeah. So we've really taken time to research and nail down the best systems, the best processes, um, and the best ways to grow your business. So um, we have a sales huddle every Tuesday for our sales agents where we can stay connected. It's for 30 minutes. We do role play. We do live situations where you can ask questions. Yeah. Um, we celebrate their wins. So new listings, open houses, um, in contracts and close. Uh, they get scratch off tickets when they've taken a new listing to celebrate that. So 
we want to make it fun because mm. this business can be hard and it's hard work. So our, our goal is to make it fun. Um, on Wednesdays, we have our sales meeting, um, which is also a big source of training. Sandy yeah. always has a training piece in there to um, help people learn something new and or remind them about something that we've taught in the past. Because, right. you know, you can hear the same message a lot, but never really um, wrap your head around it or understand it. And it's just the, hearing it at the right time makes all the difference. So sure. um, our agents are very, very hardworking. Um, mm -hmm. they're disciplined, um, but they do have, for the most part, work-life balance. And I think that's important as well. So they're committed, hardworking, and they get the support that they need in order to achieve the results that they get. There you go. So, and as a, as a company, I mean, we're, we're in the process of rebranding and okay. putting out some new materials and some exciting things. We're using a company out of Toronto that's been, um, awesome. Yeah. So uh, that's another exciting piece for them is is getting um, a new look and new materials that can represent them and that they can be proud of and that we can be proud of as a company. So that's, that's awesome. Kind of the secret sauce or whatever I guess that you had called it earlier. Yeah, yeah, secret sauce. What um talk about your director of operations because you guys yeah. you're in a very interesting role. Like Sandy's the mentor. Yeah. There's a director of operations and you're the yeah. president. So how yep. do you guys, how do you guys like cross collaborate, but also kind of run the day to day? What's that look like? We have um, a weekly leadership meeting every Tuesday. Actually, I was doing that right before I jumped on this call with you. Good. So it's an opportunity for our marketing manager to prevent, present what she has going on, any questions she needs answers, decisions she need, needs made. Um, Emily, my director of operations, will report on the rest of the operations team and, and where we're at, what we have going on. Um, and then I'll report on the company as a whole and the sales team. So uh, that's a great way for us to stay connected and on top of what everybody else is doing. Yeah. Um, we usually plan our trainings for the, for the sales meeting that day. Um, as well, so we can stay on top of it. But it's, it's difficult. I mean, we have a lot of balls in the air right now. And um, on top of Emily, um, you know, running the operations team, she also runs our lead platforms. So she's in charge of our dashboard. We use Boomtown and we're big Boomtown fans. So we run all of our lead gen through Boomtown and yep. Emily's responsible for holding the agents accountable for making sure their dashboards are up to date. She sends out a report twice a week to make sure that everybody's doing what they're supposed to be doing. Um, otherwise they get paused. And no one likes to be paused and not getting no. leads. So um, they, they usually very quickly make their dashboard right and get turned back on. So, so that's another role that, or a hat that Emily wears. Um, and she's also running our in-house staging department. Ah. So we, it, we like to keep it interesting. I mean, there's always a lot going on. Yeah, staging's a big deal. What have you guys seen yeah. that do for your business when you you know, are competing for listings and say, we can stage your house and we'll make it look amazing. What, what does that do for you guys? I think what's, what's a little bit tricky is um, a lot of agents will offer it for free. Yeah. And we don't, we have an expense that's associated with it. So when sure. we can show them our before and afters and our results, you know, what, how quickly properties are selling and how they're selling for more money when you do these things, uh, I think it's pretty easy to see why we we charge, and I think I may be biased, but of course, what we do is better than what you know what you'll get for free. You get what you pay for. Right. So um, we have a we have a whole inventory of furniture and accessories that we use. That um, you know we I don't wouldn't say we make a ton of money off of the endeavor, but it definitely helps us get our home sold faster which in return is, um, is, a, is a great investment for us because then we can flip the furniture into another house and keep it moving and yeah. keep it in good condition as well. That's awesome. That's so. awesome. What are, um, okay, so you hired a virtual assistant. You were around for that yes. journey and you were I was. part of it. Let's tell our audience like just some of the things that you've learned now that you're, I mean, I think it was 2012. Yeah, yeah. So. I the biggest thing is having um, a direct contact for the virtual assistant, someone that they can talk to every day, no yep. matter what, ask yep. questions to. Um, we've had her do, I mean, 
everything. So she will create manuals for us. You know, we'll go on and she'll video or whatever she does on her end to make screenshots of what we're doing. And then all of a sudden, a couple hours later, we end up with a manual of what we just trained her on how to do. And yep. that's been really important for us. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just like, once you, once she learns the task, you, you know that it's done. You, you don't have to think about it twice. Um, and so it's, it's just been a, a lifesaver for us, especially for the data entry portion of what we do with with transactions and inputting data and setting up our MLS sheets and just helping us be proactive about getting stuff done, you know, before a deadline has been huge. What are, you know, I think one of the things that our, our clients and prospective clients struggle with is that learning curve and that training. And it sounds like you guys yeah. have a really great, like what we call play, pause, do. Um, yeah. So you guys record a screen, she does screenshots, then she writes up a process, delivers yeah. it to you for sign off. You didn't have that before a virtual assistant probably, right? No, no. I mean, it, it would usually be someone was, was leaving and then all of a sudden it was a mad rush to try to throw a manual together um, right. to help us with that role. So um, I mean, I even thinking as we're talking now, I have more manuals that I think she could, she could have been helping us with, um, <laughs> here recently. So, yeah. uh, the, the job is never done, but, um, yeah, it's, that is one of the, the, the great things. So then it's done. It's the only challenge is, you know, things change and especially in this business. Yes. So they need, they need updated of course, but that's an easy thing to jump on and, and show her what to do and voila, it's done. Yeah. And talk about the video. Do you guys do a lot of video conferencing and chat and text? We or? did. Yeah. We've been using, um, oh boy, now I'm going to forget the name of it. Um, Slack. Yeah. Uh, for kind of just conferencing back and forth with our whole operations team. Yep. Uh, so that's been helpful, but we also use Skype and Zoom. And yep. um, we, we've gotten away from it for a little bit, but I think it's something we want to bring back is having our virtual assistant uh, join via video conference, our huddles, because we have an operations huddle every morning. Yep. So um, it's nice to see her face and have her share and, and get to know, you know, the people on the team. And um, it just, it, it makes, I think it makes all the difference for the connection um, that you have with your virtual assistant. I love that. What, what um, advice would you give to people who have never even considered? Because believe it or not, despite my best efforts, there are still people <laughs> out there that do not have virtual assistants. What would you tell them? Um, I, you know, I think the biggest thing is talking to just like this, someone who is actually using the virtual assistant yep. and really get best practices from them. And maybe, I don't know, depending on where you're located, going and visiting the, the office or the team or the agent and really seeing firsthand um, how it's done. Cause I think it is intimidating and like, Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to be responsible for this person. And right. what am I going to have them do? And how are they ever going to figure this out? And so the more we can learn and share with each other, um, the better off we are. And then I think it's just a commitment to stay in touch with the virtual assistant every day. And even if you check in in the morning and you check in in the afternoon, um, that'll ensure that you're getting completed what you want and you're getting return on your investment. That's cool. What, what, um, how do you manage their tasks? Like another failure point that we've had with clients is yeah. like, well, I give them something to do and then I don't know, I, maybe I get it back or maybe I don't because they yeah. don't have a system or a process that they're in. Right. So how do you guys keep we, that organized? We use top producer. Okay. And so she has a, she has her own profile on top producer. So we created listing plans, closing plans, you name it. Right. And um, whenever the plan gets launched, um, she has tasks, her part. She has her part. Yeah. So she's right. just, just a, like a part of the team. And every year we go through and look at the uh, client service managers um, plans and it's like, okay, what can we delegate or what can we put onto the virtual assistance plate? Now that she's up and running and doing all these other things, what else can we add? What can we pull off your plate so you can take on more um, and that we can train her on so she can take on more? So I think they, you know, she likes to be busy. And the worst thing is to not have things to do. Um, right. So we, we make sure that uh, everybody's busy. That's awesome. I love it. Yeah. And what's, yeah. Been the, what's been the biggest challenge as you scaled this business up in terms of talent and leverage and 
like building a team in, in your, you know, let's, it's the moment to get real, Stephanie, you and I, me and yeah. you. So our audience <laughs> knows the struggle is real. It's hard it is. to it build is. a large team. And uh, so what, what, have, what are some of the things that you've learned in that process? Um, I think for our, for our sales agents, it's really honing in on the value that we offer and the difference um, that, that we feel we make and we can offer to someone, um, someone's income. Yep. And it was hard for me to, you know, I can sell the operations team, you know, I'm very passionate about, it. I could talk about yes. that side of it all day long. Um, but for salespeople, it's like, you have to really show them what's in it for them and what's the value. Yep. So we've created a few um, pieces of materials for different kinds of personality type people. Yep. So that way we can, you know, get them the information that they need that speaks to them. Yeah. And, um, and it was good for me just to go through the exercise to realize, wow, we're offering so much that if you were to go to a, a different company, this is how much you would be spending for all of these things that, you know, essentially we're offering for free. Right. Um, so that is, that is, I'm, I, we're working through, you know, our interview process and making sure that we're pointing those things out to salespeople as they're hoping to make their decision about coming on board with our company. Um, but it's not easy and, and talent is, is hard to find. Yep. And, um, we found that our best referrals come from our existing team members. Okay. So if, if they refer someone and um, bring, you know, we bring them on board, they seem invested in their future as well. So they're a lot more likely to, to help out and pitch in, but we have a great team and they're willing, really willing to do that anyways. But if you're referring someone and they're on the team, there's, uh, you know, a special bond that, uh, that exists there. And so we like, we really like to encourage our current team members to give us referrals for new agents. That's awesome. Speaking of referrals, yeah. we- I want you guys are one of the most rated and reviewed teams. I mean, I was, I was kind of checking you guys out. Do you guys have a process for asking for those reviews and like how to do, I love it. Okay. So let's talk about that real quick. Okay. So, um, our marketing manager puts together, we have a template and we really focused on getting, we started with Zillow. Mm -hmm. Um, and then we are move, we're moving to Google and then we're going to move to Facebook. Um, but we have a template that goes out to our, past clients as soon as they close, asking them to, you know, rate us and give us a review. So that's been really helpful. Um, We also read the reviews once they come in at our sales meeting in front of the whole team. So the agent gets accolades for getting the review and it always, you know, feels good to be recognized and hear what your clients have to say and then have it done in front of all your peers is really helpful as well. So we have, yes, we have a system uh, or a process in place that goes out to every client asking for the review. And then, um, and then we acknowledge the agent when the review comes in. I love it. And what are you guys looking forward to for 2020? I know you guys are about to do your advance and you're going to get your strategic plan and that's going to be amazing, I'm sure. Um, But what do you see the future in Ohio and what are you guys preparing for? We're, we're looking to expand into some new markets, which is very exciting. Mm-hmm. And uh, yep. Yep. So I'll, I'll look forward to reporting back on that and let you know how we're doing. Yeah. Um, but overall, we really are shooting to reach that 200 million in sales, which will never have been done before. Yeah. And uh, I think in order to do that, we have to have, you know, really great agents that are all operating at, at their, you know, top capacity and, and really going the extra mile. Um, so we have contests going right now um, called the plus one contest where if they just do one transaction or take one new listing more than they took last year, uh, they get $50 and then their names are going to go into a drawing at the end of the year for someone to win a thousand dollars. So we like to have a lot of incentives and rewards and contests that go on to keep the agents motivated and inspired. And have some fun. Um, I think that's, yeah, and have fun. But I think that's going to be key to us um, expanding in our markets and getting our business to the 200 million in sales volume. Well, that is, uh, that's amazing, actually. 200 million, that's a big goal. How did you guys come up with yeah. that goal? Um, you know, Ron, uh, Sandy's husband, has been talking about it for, for a long time. 
Yeah. And we've been been steady for probably the last four or five years at the 150 mark. And so that's just the next natural um, milestone for us to get to. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Okay. Well, Stephanie, we're almost done here. Um, I always okay. like to end uh, with, you know, tell us about a great time with your virtual assistant or when you like had that click, you're like, oh my gosh, yeah. they're part of the team and I can't believe it. Um, but yeah. before we go, go to that uh, story, everybody who's listening, I want to give away a copy of our free book. Stephanie, we oh. wrote a book. Awesome. Yeah. And so if you're nice. listening right now, all you need to do is text the letters SVP. So Sam, Victor, Paul to 31996 and you'll get a copy of our book and uh you know we've got a lot of client stories in there stephanie you guys were one of our early adopters so i'm so yeah. thankful for the reigns group you're you guys are amazing um, oh thanks and, and hopefully we'll be working together in the future yeah you're gonna add with a another, couple more with an I, yeah, yeah with, I, an, with an isa potentially so i'll uh, i'll be happy to report back on that once we once we start moving forward with that yeah, well, you know, uh, we're running a fall special right now. So anybody who <laughs> signs up gets 500 bucks off their invoice. I mean, I, you can't go wrong there. I know, right? Okay. For free money. Yeah, free money. And we're giving it away. Um, so Stephanie, what's, the, what's yeah. the moment it clicked for you? Like that virtual assistants, specifically in your business, was really a good thing. Like what happened? Um, you know, I think we, we take it for granted a little bit because it's just, you know, you kind of set it and forget it as far as the tasks and what we expect um, from our virtual assistant. She's amazing at what she does. I think the hardest part is when she goes on vacation and <laughs> we're like, oh my gosh, we have to do this, 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 and this, or it doesn't get done. And or usually she makes arrangements for, for, you know, she lets us know. Back and up. Yeah. We, we, we try to ignore the fact that she's really, really going to go away. Um, <laughs> but that's the, that's the biggest thing is when she's gone, um, we really feel it, but we, we like for her to have her time off and, and we figure it out. Um, yeah. but for us, that's it. When she's not here, we definitely feel it. And that's when you knew it was a big impact for yeah. your business. Yes. Well, yeah. there you go. Stephanie, <laughs> you've been amazing. Thank you so much for oh. sharing with us today. Really appreciate yeah. you. Um, and thank I, you. you know, I, I want to thank you for the audience. I mean, I know they're spending valuable time and you dropped a lot of good love on them. So well, good. Thank you so much. And hey, I'm available via email if anybody has any questions or oh, wants copies of anything, any documents or form. I mean, you name it, we probably have it. So if anyone's having a struggle or a challenge in their business right now, and I would be happy to help or send information, whatever wow. anybody needs. Well, you're amazing, so. Stephanie. Thank you so much oh, for that. Thanks. Guys, thanks okay. for listening. Before you go, definitely text SVP to 31996. Um, tell Ron and Sandy, I say hello. And Stephanie, I thanks, will. thanks again for your time today. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks for having me. See ya.